Hello everybody, this is me, Eddie Bravo, uh, Sarge the Gamer on YouTube, and I'm going to be showing you a Let's Play of England on Iron Man mode. So, here are the options. It is definitely Iron Man mode, it is checked, we're playing with the actual New World rather than random. Um, yes, we're going to be playing as England. So, I plan to unite the British Isles, take over these islands, including Iceland up here from Scandinavian... Whoever owns it, be Denmark or be Norway or Sweden, or, or even if it's the Hansa, but I don't think they'll take it. So, and then we'll be heading ourselves to North America, trying to take the 13 colonies region, Mexico, a bit of Canada, um, and then we'll be moving ourselves around the Cape of Africa and, um, you know, bought by the Cape, I mean, just here, you know, getting some colonies around here, and Madagascar. Then moving ourselves over to Ceylon, where as we can see it will be, well, it doesn't show you the trade points anymore on the map when you do that on this bit. But there's some trade areas, you know, it's good for trade to get into India, collect our trade up here as well, um, and move ourselves around to China as well. That's late game, like 17 to 1800s late game. Uh, America is 16 to 15 to 1700s. Uh, obviously, up here, this region where I'll be colonizing first would be 1500s, latest, latest getting over to Mexico eventually in Caribbean, 1700s. With a large navy, this is very manageable and very possible. So, without further ado, I will start the game and transition over to England and explain further into uh, short term plans. Okay, so I did set a few people before I started recording. It's kind of our habit, so I've pressed got two so anyways i got all level one advisors we've got a we've got jan capgrave he is a minus to your national unrest we have john he is a plus two diplomatic reputation and we have moral of armies uh plus ten uh percent so i'm gonna call portugal to arms because we can um, let's start trading in the get that cash going Touch these guys, and we're going to mothball half, and mothball those three, and then we're going to and cracks at the same time. Um, we're going to go speed two to begin with. We're going to improve our prestige to get a free stability there, and we're going to get military access to Navarra. We want to put our generals on the armies to ensure that we can we get rid of one general here. So basically, I don't plan to fight this, but I might. It really depends. It's just it's going to be too difficult being on historical nations because of the bonuses they get. And I'm not too good at winning the hundred years. Well, I've won it once a very long time ago, legitimately. Um, so we're going to play now. Luckily. That covered. Right, I'm gonna get there on the 28th. We're gonna get there on the 22nd. Yes, I have to. And then we're gonna be able to Navarra before the troops can arrive. So I was gonna give that a minute. Also, if we look at our income. Right, we'll make it out of there uh, on time. Now, the issue with France is that they can easily pull in other allies like that. I can't. I have to. Like, uh, if I want to ally Austria now, I can't because I'm at war. But France can. I'm at, even though I've got positive. Um, I don't know if that started off as an alliance. Which is maybe why, but uh, I don't think it does. I'm sure they start off being allies. Uh, so, anyways, we got our troops back for the most part. Now we have a couple of options. Try and fight this, or we can leave. And I vote for leaving, keeping all of our energy for a potential war of the roses and then taking the trade node here on the mainland 
at some point. We'll wait and see if Burgundy gets attacked by France, which usually happens. Uh, I can also ally Austria, which will be vital in, in the near future. Yes, yeah, so we're going to keep playing now. Uh, I can pass advancements of religion act. I'm not going to do this. I plan to be humanist and just swap. Oh, well, I don't know, actually. Mm, no, I, I'm not I'm unsure of that, to be honest. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to start fabricating claims in Scotland. Uh, so let's say five beef, whatever, however it's pronounced, and we'll do anvers here, and we're gonna wait for that. Now I'm gonna see about. Oh wait, I'm gonna do things. piecing up with France first. So we can do this. I get a free stability here. Well, it's not really free, but you know it's. Not too bad, anyways. And uh, we can get 50 plus relations with France, which I don't really care about. We lose our cause in France. So that's that. Now, it's potential that France will declare war on Burgundy for cause. Now, that's that. I'm gonna make Burgundy my rival, I'm gonna make a steel rival as well. So, yeah, now we're gonna continue claiming Anvers. Uh, if our ruler dies without an heir, we will have a succession war between Austria and Hungary, which would be bad. We lost the accepted culture, which is fair enough. We've got that alliance with, um, with Austria now. We could probably get an alliance with Bohemia after this. So we're going to let that tick by. We've got nothing else to do in the meantime except just wait. So uh, we're going to do that for now. So obviously if I go quiet at, at moments in time, I'm sorry. I don't obviously have co always uh, have the commentary there, but uh, I'm gonna try my best and try to keep this as uh, as fluent and entertaining for you guys as I possibly can. So I feel that we just have to get some claims. Oh, oh that's a poor air. Uh, that's very very poor. I'm very disappointed with him. It's gonna be very bad for us. Um, but no matter. Hopefully we'll get a better look next time. Oh yeah, and also I need to get rid of 5,000 5, troops. Let's see, 16, 17, there we go. Now we're getting our full income here. Uh, where are my trade ships? Are they trading? Oh, that's why I'm not getting as many as I thought I should be. My apologies guys, I, I know that must have been annoying the hell out of you. Some of you anyways. And see how much money I'll be getting now. 13.50 ducats. That's very, very nice. I'm almost getting 30 total income ducats right there. Uh I'd I need to, I'd rather lose Oh damn it, I pressed the wrong one. It doesn't matter. So now we can attack Scotland. France will join. However, we can get all the Irish to get in. Um, oh, actually, I'm really unsure about calling in Austria. Because Austria's going to get... Yeah, these guys are going to get ruffle stomped. And they don't need that. And it will ruin my war score as well. But uh, this way, I can get... Basically, everyone except Munster in on getting destroyed. Um... Because Scotland's allied with Munster's not allied with anybody. We'll see if Munster makes any allies, but I don't know what the relations are with the mainland. So they could possibly get an alliance with Tyrone, I think. We'll wait. In the meantime, we'll get a couple more claims from Scotland. We probably don't need them because we're going to vassalize them, but whatever. What we could do. Who's got claims on what? I could, I could vassalize Munster and, let, and then transfer the... the uh, yeah, I think that sounds like a good idea. So what I'll do is I'll make an alliance with Munster. Um, and try and vassalize them before we go to war. Oh, we already set 
me and Roman Marge there, but I wasn't paying attention. So, um, and then we'll start improving. Well, actually, first I can procure my guarantee, and then I can offer the military axe, which will give me an, another ten relations. And then this way I will. Okay, so a call to arms. The nation of Austria, your faithful allies, requesting that you come to their aid in the Austrian Bavarian War of Honor against Bavaria. This is a war they have started. If we will join as a regular ally, it will join it will be twice as expensive as the enemy to take our provinces, but we will not be able to call our own allies. If we decline, we will lose twenty five percent. I accept. That's no issue. I am okay with joining that completely. It does not affect me negatively in any way except for reducing my exhaustion, which isn't too big of a deal. Uh, and I soon we'll be able to keep improving our relations with Munster, and then I can get this war started with Scotland. Now, what I wish I didn't do is actually make that alliance with Portugal. I don't need that alliance. Um, have I got any? I've got one relation there, two relations there, three relations. Ah, I know where the extra relations come from. Although I probably won't have that for much longer, regardless, because Aragon's probably going to take. It. And who's the one? Never yet, then Castile. Ah, here we go. But Burgundy is getting absolutely pummeled. Now on Burgundy. Wait for our war exhaustion to die down. Not war exhaustion. What's it called? Uh, aggressive expansion. That's it. And then we can start conquering again in the British Isles. Um, we'll just take one province of Holland. Actually, I'll wait for France to come. I'm really going to shoot it because it, uh, I've done a few games myself. And it's actually really difficult for me because, uh. Ooh, that's another level. That will keep Scotland busy for now. Ooh. Oh, sorry about that. Pain in my chest there for a second. Get transfer trade power going as well, that will improve relations, I think. If that really matters, it's not see trade. I don't care about it. And I can, make, I can send a little gift, 25 buckets. She doesn't need any relations with this nation. And that speed seems to be the most. Uh, a lot. It won't take as much time now to uh, get to where we want to be. See, no harm done. I joined up with war. I look, I look good. And relations have been improved. Now, what this will put end up in? Ooh, a lot harsher. But I don't. I think this is manageable. Definitely. We got Hungary there. Teutonic Order, living on in order. Mecklenburg. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, Austria's got this in the bag. Definitely. Sorry for playing at speed five and all this luck going on at the moment. I'm talking at like 100 miles per hour because of it. But if there's nothing to do, and I don't want to have everyone sitting here for 20 minutes and having episodes of just me watching, you know, looking at while I wait. I mean, I'm still waiting, but I'm still I'm getting things done at the same time. I'm hoping that the thing about me doesn't die. That would be horrible. And I won't be able to get those provinces, and France will be fucking with my trade. Sorry, apologies for swearing. I'll, I won't. I'll try not to swear, especially with the play channel. Um, you know, I don't want to swear too much. I'll lose my I'd rather not lose my admin power at this point in the game. Swear to me. All right, we're almost there. We've got another a little hall left to go with the. Uh, I could give some these to speed it up even further, but I don't think it's necessary. Uh, we can get an advisor. We're going to go for a level 2 advisor. Are we? Or we could go for level 3, but we'll be using up a lot of our money doing that. So we're going to get the level 2 there. We're still getting a hefty amount of money. We could also upgrade to level 2 admin. But there's no level 2 military, otherwise I, I would have considered it. These noble rebels will. I want to see what. I don't know what, what will happen if these noble rebels win. I mean, one time I actually did end up getting provinces defected to me while I had them as my vassals. 
Uh, Fallen wants military access. I don't really care that much. Go ahead. Um, right, we're almost there now. We're almost, almost there. We're get almost the plans here. Put it back, kick it back into speed three while I uh, do all my plans. Wow, what? He's on a garter? Okay. I'm gonna destroy that too here. Beat the Thank you very much. Alright, we're gonna move the troops to the border. That's the last mainland province I have, and it's pretty funny. So, anyway. Now we can get off of vassalization. And now we can get this war started now. I mean, I'm going to have to face these rebels, but it's not a problem. We're going to have in France, Tyrone, Leinster, Connacht join. Munster's going to join, which is good. He's going to have Vassal. has to join. I can stop him from joining, but, I mean, I don't see why. Alright, now we can get it back into speed. Move in here. Good general, we're gonna easily win that. Troops back to Lothian. I don't think I'm gonna save those guys. Yeah, they're good. But you know, we're gonna get there uh, to destroy the rebels. And like so. There again, we could move our troops. Nah, you know what? Just leave them like as is. Oh, I didn't see that there. God damn. Oh, I'm gonna have to make four more tons more bars. What we'll do is instead move my troops across. Island to the straight here. Oh, here we go. He's the high uh, squadron. I forgot about this. Gonna move back to support my guys. Oh, unfortunately, they died. And we completely stack wiped that. I let uh, I'm just gonna siege it out as is for the moment. Keep that force there. Um, all of the remaining troops in Ireland. I know I'm <laughs> But we should still be okay, I guess. Ah! Side people that we are sending ourselves a little too thin. And not giving our men enough time to recover. That is very true. And we're being very hasty with our plans. But I want to be able to save my vassal here in time. I'm also going to roleplay this a little bit as well. So if you're wondering why all my options aren't to be the best, then that's why. So I'm going to move in to take on Leinster's troops first. Express the Welsh rebels that was trying to negotiate. I'm going to just negotiate. I don't really want to. 
Resources. I don't think it's going to be the uh, resources to even bother with that. Next one. Nah, there we go. Now we can start occupying everything. I don't know why I couldn't move up. Oh, there we go. I'm doing it now. We've got only a cavalry left, but that's okay. We're just gonna see. And we're done. Pretty much. Resistance is now just futile. There's no way they're gonna recover from this. I've got it all under control. Uh, yep, Hungary is embossed to peace out. In that other war. Now it's just Teutonic Order and Mecklenburg and Lithuanian Order that is left. It's very satisfying. I'm quite glad that Austria's got off to a good start. France is ruffle something, unfortunately. Hopefully, he'll only take Picardy and maybe a couple of his other claims. Uh, maybe, yeah, hopefully, just Picardy and a few other provinces, and I can swoop in after this. After my uh, aggressive expansion is worn off, and I can get a couple of trading ports here uh, Antwerp and Holland. That would be the best and optimal, uh, optimal solution. And once all these occupations are finished, we'll give them to Connacht, a monster, sorry. And we can use the Oh, fine, and dandy. The last jousting tournament. Morale of armies. Yeah, we have got some decent morale, actually. Uh, prestige, yes. We want that free prestige as soon as we can possibly get it. We've also got enough of my power to take all of these and vassalize Scotland, 1550 here, and then 200 in total spent. Okay, my troops back. Once he's got his troops here. A, un a quick unification of the British Isles will soon be in progress. Ooh, Denmark's actually losing that in terms of war score. Uh, looks like the Novgorod joined in as well. Maybe that's a big factor in the equation. Very lucky for Sweden, actually. Um, usually they would do that by themselves. And they'd get absolutely destroyed and Denmark would bring in Lithuania. So that it's going to even the tables a little bit there. Uh, we're going to speed 5 this. Oh. Trade ships. It saves me having to sell him all the provinces as well. Especially with him not having clams in any of it. This is going to be really nice. I'll move these troops across as well. Because I know Monster's going to have some issues with all the rebels, so we will have to help him out. Scotland will be fine, it will have probably more noble rebels, but that'll be about it. Get another national unrest mod of um, dude, but well, we'll leave it. I think it's good as it is. 
Uh, no level 2 advisors for military yet. Scotland's war exhaustion is getting high. Hopefully he'll start to disband his units, because usually what happens um, is he can't afford his unit anymore, to the point where he needs to... Kind of monster. There we go. Get that up to... Um, yeah, there you are. Yeah. Now we've got our uh, just better vassal. I think we gained a bit of aggressive expansion. That's why when uh, when we uh, get all of this, I don't I didn't want to. That's why I didn't attack Burgundy as well because we get a big coalition and we'd struggle quite a lot. As if we get it now, if we get any sort of coalition, we can easily deal with it. We've got our. Uh... Yeah, we're gonna get rid of this guy. I'm gonna move him over there. Soon our box will be finished. Mothball the other guys here. There we go. So we, we, we've got a reasonable expenditure in income, I'd say. To Yorkshire. Get them to the Shire. They're taking the hobbits to Isengard. Alright, um, because I'm lazy, I'm gonna just put them on the English Channel without combining with the other fleet. I'll sort it out later. Let's see how much money we're getting now. Yeah, we're getting an extra ducat and a half. Very nice. Uh, we, we're, get, we're spending an extra 0.52. Over um, because of exceeding our force limit, that's not an issue. We can uh, handle such deficits, the extra ships. It's going to take us a little while, so let's speed five. Um, let's move our, let's, move, let's detach the siege here. Okay, sorry, and move them here so we can speed up this particular. Let's speed up everything. Move around a little bit. There we go. This will speed things up incredibly. I should have done this a long time ago, but it doesn't matter. I mean, we got this. You know what? In fact, I think we should be able to peace out now while Scotland keeps its troops. Yes, we get some cash. Not too much, but you know, something. And uh, yeah, we're good to go. So now we got uh, Munster. See, now we got a coalition against us now. Because of all we've took. And if we took Holland and Antwerp, then you can understand how big this could have got. You know, Austria is strong, but not that strong. Uh, we got Portugal as well, but like I said, we're not that strong at this point. Oh, uh, but Navarra still exists. Let me cancel military uh, access. Now we've got our four relations Austria, Portugal, Munster, and Scotland. So we've got that covered. Munster has got a full 200 relations, I'm going to keep going for a little while. Uh, let's see. Improve relations on your 26, yeah. So, we got vassalage in 1448. So, in 1458, we will start to integrate them. We soon have our military technology, keeping us um, up to date with other technologies on the mainland, just in case we need to deal with anybody or strong naval power, you know, somewhere else. And Sweden lost its war. Well, it won it. Oh, well, that's weird. It won its war, but it only took a province from them, which I find quite interesting. But whatever. I mean, so technically, Sweden did win. They just wanted some more land, you know, underneath. Uh, we lost some troops, so we're gonna make a template. Oh, rest. Great template. Um. Oh, whatever. Um, it's gonna be infantry. Uh, well, let's call it top up. Yeah, that's it. Top up. And it's gonna be six. 
Let's get 8,000 guys. Um, infantry. Save that. Infantry top ups. Now we're gonna make. We're gonna recruit. Them. I'm gonna have an army. These are gonna be like our reserves. We're gonna keep those in a separate place for, um, for those guys. Luckily, um, Monster kept the situation under control. So although I could, it could go to hell in a battle skid or whatever the saying is. Um, if you've left for dead, you'll probably know it. Alright guys, I think that was probably a good episode. I'm sorry for maybe it seeming a little dry, but you know, that's England. Uh, so plans, I'm going to pause it here, 1st of June, or 3rd of June, whatever, it will do. Um, so we managed to unify our rulership over Ireland, Scotland, but the British Isles hasn't been fully taken, because we still need to take Orkney. I think the Shetlands can act last as British Isles, but don't quote me on that, I'm not really sure on the region, I don't think it is. And uh, yeah, so we're almost there, one province left, and then we can take Shetlands, um, we can also take, I don't Probably the wrong pronunciation, but for uh, Faronrana. Yep, that was really bad. It was probably wrong. And then we can take Iceland after that. Um, in the next episode, and hopefully, um, yeah, integrate Scotland, Munster, and work towards colonizing the new world. So, hope you enjoy this one. Please leave a comment. Uh, please rate. Give me some feedback. And um, I hope you enjoyed this first episode. So um, sorry, I don't know. I really don't know what to say. <laughs> I haven't recorded in so long. I haven't done an intro. Uh, anyways, without further ado, I'm gonna end the episode here. So leave me some feedback. Tell me what you think, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye now.